Hi, um, welcome back. Um, so, I want to show um, some of the additional features which we, you know, had. Um, some of them from, you know, late version 3 and um, some of them from, you know, the version 4 as well. So, um, one of them is, um, you know, now we can now add um, essentially sections to our you know question option so um i can see here um essentially i can open you know i can open this file and you can see um you know what it contains so we have you know question one now we're gonna add you know a section a component um you can add it in you know you know um any case and it all you know captures it so essentially the very first one it finds um if you add the other ones in a different case it is going to use the very first case it finds um sorry i'm just trying to adjust this okay so for instance we have comprehension here with a capital c um i believe we also have one here um with a small c um same thing here so if you use default it's going to use the default section um if you do not also specify anything it's also going to use the default section sections sorry so you don't need to you know specify anything so essentially all of these other questions are going to fall in the default by default or previously all questions fall in the default and then you start have you know you know start having to move them out which you know can be a daunting task um yeah so <coughs> this was one of the requested features and then now it's now supported so um if we come to this we can see that the section now is captured um the section now is captured and um yeah we can now you know use those so if i click on finish select all import we can now see um that this question essentially you know has the section which we want so if we go to the paper so first of all you can see the section is num and then if we go to paper contents and sections we can see all of the sections you know that available here and then we can see all of the questions that were registered under the session um, sections okay the next one is um you know using microsoft you know office word so this is a sample you know um question which was built in um in word um using the um the first type which is you know the number and the dots so this is most likely going to be you know the exam description um since we have you know a text before it um this is going to be you know like the first you know question we have you know a formula over here um we have some subscript you know we have some superscript you know we have some styling some colors some highlighting some underline you know and here we also specify um the answer you know similar style um but now it is with word um we have the explanation you know if we need you know we have images um and you know we have you know other you know numbered lists you know we have links we have tables and table suites um you know colored you know content and then we also have you know up to you know um i options you know you you could have up to 10 options if you wanted to so we're just going to see an example of how this would work same thing um import exams um i can come you know select that and um it's a number with the dots the same pattern um yeah you can see the exam description which we spoke about um which was you know essentially captured over here this is a sample document um here is the question um that was captured the bullet points um the formula doesn't look exactly the same but yeah that's word 
and um, we're just trying as much as possible to simulate it so we had to convert it you know in the best way you know we could um, so you can see the formatting is captured the superscript the subscript you know the image you know is captured you know the numbered you know list in here is captured and then we have the options we have the links you know we have the table you know essentially you know how you know we wanted it so um, I can just select all and then import and um, we have you know our questions so um, yeah that is essentially what I wanted to talk about in this tutorial thank you very much for watching